Remember that ice bucket challenge that went viral in 2014 with 17 million people posting videos online? The goal was to raise money and awareness for ALS. Well, it worked. $220 million were raised. That led to more research and a breakthrough. Researchers say they've identified a new gene that contributes to ALS. The disease affects nerve cells in the spinal cord, leading to loss of control over muscles. It can lead to total paralysis and death. But how truly important is this latest gene discovery? We asked that from Kalanit Ballet. She's the executive vice president of strategy at ALS Association. Well, it's really significant, right? So it, the gene itself is one of the most, it affects more people than almost any of the other genes that we know about for ALS right now. So it's in the top five of genes that we know that impact people with ALS. So since this massive social media experiment yeah. began, yeah. it's not the only gene has, that has been found, but no. it's certainly the most significant. Yeah, it's the most prominent. We have found three genes since this all started, but this is definitely the most prominent gene so, thus far. Yeah. Uh, Karanid, what does it mean in terms of treatment, in terms of an eventual cure, and what about the majority of ALS patients right. Who, um, the, who's, who don't have it based on a genetic factor? Well, there are a few things. So when you talk about treatment or a cure, this gives scientists something to target now. You know, we're always looking for what's, what's something that's causing this disease? Why is it doing this? We don't know that answer yet, but it's going to create hopefully new therapies and eventually a cure. What it means for people that don't have an inherited genetic mutation, we're not really sure. So what we know right now is that about 10% of people have some kind of inherited mutation, but we all expect that to grow quite significantly. So what you're saying is the first step is certainly understanding the disease right. and developing new therapies that eventually could lead to a possible treatment and cure. Exactly. You know, once we start to identify the target, once we identify the problem, then how do we fix that problem? and then we take a therapy and direct it at that. So this is step one, in a sense. Kalanit, will this help people who are in early stages of ALS right now? Well, I'd love to say that it will, um, but we don't know that answer yet. What I can say is it will start for us to help us identify who might be, have risk for ALS and family members that might be at risk, and that'll be another step of what do we do now. Are you surprised how successful this social media campaign of throwing buckets, on, buckets of water <laughs> on other people, are you surprised how successful it was? Yeah. And why do you think it truly resonated with millions of people around the world? Well, we've talked about this at length, as you can imagine. Uh, summer, it's hot, so that's good. But I don't think anybody expected it to go as large and wide as it did. And 17 million yeah. people posted videos online. Yeah, and I think, you know, people have analyzed and looked at this as to why. There are so many theories out there, but the important part is that it's, it's raised money for research. It's raised awareness for a disease that has been underfunded and unrecognized for a long time and a really terrible disease. So that's the success story out of it. How to replicate it, that's for other experts to figure out. And do out. you think part of the reason it was so successful was the simplicity? Anyone could do this. Yeah, I think, you know, and, and in some ways it was kind of fun, you know, and it, people challenged each other. So you, people were taken to task a little bit to say, you need to do this for a good cause. So what do you tell all those critics who said, all that water that's being wasted, for what? <laughs> well, I can tell those critics that we're starting to see treatment. We're going to start a couple new trials. Clinical trials are coming up. We're seeing new advances in research. So it was a lot of water, a lot of effort, a lot of money, but that's, that's how you progress. That's how you actually find new discoveries. I think if people think strategically about how are we going to spend this money? We didn't put all our eggs in one basket, and we wanted to make sure that we still had funding to follow up with new gems that we might discover. So I think they really can make a difference. We're going to leave it there. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Kalanid you. Bulas, thank you. Thank you.